Hello everyone, here is Anna and welcome back to my channel. I haven't talked to you sitting like this for a very long time, so I thought it's time to do it again. I hope that you're doing well and that you're healthy. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in my professional life and to share with you some exciting news. Actually, if you haven't subscribed to my Instagram account yet, I recommend you to do that because I post there almost daily and also subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. So first things first, I actually have a big reveal for you. This is a project I've been thinking about and working on for the past few years and finally I can share it with you. And yes, I'm going to record my um, first debut CD. So many of you have been asking me about the possibility to listen to and to purchase my CD and I didn't want to start such a big project and recording a proper CD with a good famous label um, in a good studio. It's a huge, extremely expensive and very time consuming project. So. I did want to make it until I knew I was prepared for it. So far I know that the CD will be recorded with a German label named Genuin and it will also be recorded with a cooperation with South Western um, Broadcasting of Germany in their studio. I'm very very honored and very happy about both of those collaborations and I'm really looking forward to working with them. And now into the most interesting part for you guys, I guess it's the program, like what I'm actually going to record. I want to record quite personal programs, so I basically believe that as a musician um, I'm here to tell you a story through the pieces and composers that I choose for such a project as a CD, especially for a CD. It has to be an interesting story, an exciting one, and especially what I like to do in my programs is to give you something new that you can discover, but also some pieces that we all know and love. So I decided to choose um, a program for this CD where I feel at home, where I'm confident and I know that I have something to say and it's the program of early classical composers. Um, the name of this CD will most likely be Mozart and his Europe. Um, it's not 100% final title, but um, it's the one I will most likely go for. And by the way, if you have um, any suggestions uh, of the title of the CD of this program, you can write it um, down below. And who knows, like I'm open for suggestions and ideas and who knows, maybe one of you will finally um, choose and decide the title of this CD. So in this program I would like to shed some light um, on the musical connection between um, Mozart, a composer, the music of whom is so close to my heart and to my performing style, and three other fantastic composers whom he knew personally. Two of them are sons of Johann Sebastian Bach, so German composers, um, Carl Philipp Emanuel and Johann Christian Bach and another one is um, Italian-born English composer Muzio Clementi. They were all very important personalities in the music uh, scenes of their times but today, unlike Mozart, they receive very little recognition. So my hope is that um, those of you who will purchase my CD or listen it on the online platforms will discover some beautiful music of these composers that maybe um, you won't even discover otherwise. And um, there also will be some surprises in the meaning of the pieces that I chose by Mozart himself for this CD. For now I won't announce the whole program of this CD, but for example I know that this piece by Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach that I uploaded uh, earlier will be um, on the CD. Yeah, go listen to it if you haven't already. I absolutely love this piece and I'm really looking forward to recording it and the other pieces in October. 
So for now, that's it about the CD and I will share with you more information as I get it. Another topic that I would like to share with you today is how my concert life is uh, going on. So I had a pretty nice um, concert tea autumn um, and I put some vlogs if you haven't watched them um, already you can go here and yeah I really played some nice concerts uh, here and there and um, Unfortunately, I haven't played anything since October because of the pandemic, really, because many concerts are getting postponed, um, luckily not cancelled, but postponed. And for now, I have, I believe, 14 concerts uh, this spring. So let's see how it goes. Of course, it's very unpredictable these days, but of course, I hope that they're all um, are going to happen. and. Most of them are in Germany. I believe one concert is in Switzerland. So probably this information is interesting for you if you are like around or at least in Europe somewhere and you would like to come to visit some of my concerts or maybe you're just interested how it's really going. I guess I will put the list of the concerts somewhere here or you can always check it on my website. I will also leave the link down below. A concert that I would like to share with you in particular is a concert in Germany in a city Karlsruhe, in Karlsruhe Concert House, and it's going to happen within a concert series that is called um, Karlsruhe Meister Concerte. I am especially honored and so so happy to be invited to play there because they really work with like top class musicians from Europe and from the whole world, in fact. And I'm going to play there a full Russian program um, that is so close to my heart, of course, as a Russian musician. And um, three composers are included in this program, Nikolai Metner, Alexander Skrabin and Sergei Rachmaninov. And I really put so much thought and so much like love into creating this program and choosing the pieces and like thinking about the whole story and how to combine the pieces, how they work together and yeah, just like about the whole concept. And if you're around really, I will be so happy to see you there. And I put a um, link where you can purchase the tickets down below. The last thing that I would like uh, to share with you today is actually an announcement of my new uh, chamber music group and it's a duo with a Catalan cellist. Um, his name is uh, Roger morel -Ros. And um, yeah, like when it comes to chamber music, it has always been just such an important part of me as a musician and I really love playing chamber music. And I've been playing chamber music for such a long time. I started probably when I was like 10, I would say. And I played with so many people in the past, like probably I had around, I don't know, 40 ensembles, I would say. So it definitely was like always a big part of um, my vision as a musician. And um, I should also honestly say like it's really, really different to play chamber music uh, from being um, just on the stage by yourself. Um, especially as a pianist, but um, I guess also for other people, of course. And it requires so much patience uh, in the working process. It requires lots of understanding and just like will, you know, to make it together uh, as a chamber music group and be there for other people and support other people and understand other people and just not think about yourself. Um, but also about other people in the group and especially it's becoming difficult when you just do it not just like for fun but also like seriously career-wise and I'm really happy that I met Roger and we actually studied together in Cologne and we performed together once and um, yeah, we really enjoyed it and we decided to give it a try as a duo and right now we did some really cool recordings like they're gonna be so beautiful i promise you and they're 
um, coming up soon so stay tuned for that and we have for now two concerts um, ahead with like our complete uh, duo chamber music program and yeah i'm very excited about that and i hope we will be invited more so guys that's it for now i hope it was interesting for you to uh, listen to this um, update and yeah just to get some news and i hope to be able to share more with you soon and stay healthy and uh, yeah see you in the next video bye